There's six billion people on this planet, and it's really hard to be unique. At the same time, everyone's unique. So the only thing you need to do is learn how to translate it or express it. It's not about the individual screw so much as it is about the concept of using something different and, and expressing myself as an individual. I'm trained as a sculptor and I just kind of put a few in and I thought if I put them close enough together, I can shape them anywhere I want. From getting to the original thought to the finished piece took me six months for the first piece. You know, it starts out as a drawing, then it goes into a grid and drilling holes, then it goes into a sculpture, then it becomes a painting. The smallest piece has about 600 screws, and some pieces can go up to 20,000. No one really in their right mind wants to put in 20,000 screws. And then after they put them in, you tell them, well, now you gotta paint 20,000 screw heads a few times to really make the portrait pop. If you're gonna do something 20,000 times, you wanna do it right. And that's where, you know, the wick screw comes in, they're straight, you know, they, they properly adhere to the bit. That wax really allows it to go in, first off, quietly, second of all, smoothly and effortlessly. When I'm putting in the screws, it's a complete trance. You get in rhythm, it's very spacey. You know, I, I don't know what I'm thinking about it. And when I'm putting in screws, it's, a, it's an awkward place to be at. And the beautiful thing with these pieces is I've seen, you know, a five-year-old kid uh, with their 80-year-old grandmother, both of them enjoying the piece just as much. And they're like, it's made out of screws. Without someone to look at my art, it wouldn't matter what I create, right? I, it's, it's not for me, really, at the end of the day. It's for other people to enjoy, so when they do enjoy it, that's what, that's what really makes it special.